What's up shitheads and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the GoTrax GX1. This is a dual 600 watt motor sport scooter. Now this is kind of going to be like the entry level into like the more sport aggressive fast scooters and one step up from the typical scooter that you'll see like a Lime scooter or the ones you can buy at Costco that do 18 miles an hour. This is dual motors. It'll do a top speed of 30 miles an hour. This bike, this one's pretty quick and it's a lot of fun. But guys, that's enough of the boring small talk. What do you say we get right into it? So here we are up close and personal at the GoTrax GX1. This is a dual 600 watt motor electric scooter that is at the top speed of 30 miles an hour. Now this one's gonna be kind of your entry level into the sports scooters where it'll do 30, but this one's not gonna be ridiculous like some of the ones that you'll see that do 60 miles an hour. So this is like the intermediate option as far as electric scooters go. And as of right now, GoTrax is selling this scooter for $1,299 US. But if I have any links for discounts or coupon codes, I'll put in the description of this video. But you'll have to check for current pricing because pricing can be subject to change. So you see here, this scooter is equipped with 10 by 3 inch fat tires. It has like a more all round tread pattern on here. And these are tubeless wheels. And you'll see here, it also has dual suspension in the front. This scooter has 140 millimeter mechanical disc brakes front and rear. It has this tail light here, which also doubles as a brake light. It has this nice wide platform here, which I find comfortable. For reference, I'm 6'2", and I feel like this scooter fits fine. It has this kick plate in the rear. I like to rest my back foot on this kick plate here. This scooter is rated at 73 pounds. Pretty heavy, but there's a couple tricks up its sleeve that make this scooter a little bit easier to manage. So right here, you can fold the scooter. And what I like about this folding mechanism here is if it comes undone, it still won't fold down unless you manually push it down as well to undo the latch. And then once you push it down, there's this little latch here on the front. It puts a butt latch into the little tube here and then that allows you to pick up the scooter and move it. So 73 pounds, once this thing is folded, you can actually move it fairly easy, which comes in handy for me, especially because I live on the second story of an apartment building. Coming up along, you got this nice, thick, sturdy stem. And up here to the cockpit, one of the first things I noticed, I like the wider handle grips that this has here. It gives you nice palm support. Here you have your mechanical disc brake levers. This scooter has a bell to let people know that you're coming up on them at 30 miles an hour. And over here you have your thumb throttle. I'll give you more on the throttle and the drive modes when we're riding. Turn on the scooter, you hold the power button. Now by default, you have to set a password for this. I guess you can disable it, but as of now I have a password set. My password is 000, and you press up and down to toggle through the numbers and then tap the power button. And then once you have your code in there, just double tap the power button and now you're in the main console. This scooter also has a light system here, which is pretty nice. You know, it's daytime now, but we won't be able to see it. It's full glory, but when you have the lights on, it has this cool light strip on the rear here that lights up. The tail light lights up as well as this light strip in the front and your headlight. So this scooter looks pretty cool when you're out riding around at night. This scooter has a 48 volt, 14.4 amp hour battery, which works out to be about 700 watt hours of energy. The scooter has a rated range of 25 miles. Now, ranges on electric vehicles can vary drastically depending on how you ride them. That being said, I'm a 240 pound rider. This scooter has a weight limit of 300 pounds, so I'm on the heavier end of things. And I took this scooter to the gym, which is a 12 mile commute. And when I got back, I had two bars left, but I wouldn't count on getting 25 miles out of this scooter unless you're riding in eco mode and you weigh 150 pounds. That being said, I feel that I could adequately get a 15 mile range out of the scooter without pressing my luck. So I feel like this is a great option if you're gonna be using this for like 
small to moderate commutes around town or commuting to your office or gym or whatever it is as long as you're not doing anything above i'd say 20 miles you guys didn't click on this video to have me sit here and point at the scooter and talk about things right you want to go take it for a ride right well come on guys let's go do that all right guys we're out and about on the GoTrax GX1. Briefly I'm going to go over the different drive modes. So by default it's in P for park mode. You press the up arrow once to go into, this is start you off in M mode and this, I don't know what M stands for but I'm going to call it moderate mode. And this gives you, you know, a moderate amount of power. I think we're going to get a max speed. It looks like we're maxed out at about 15 miles an hour. So you're going to press up arrow one more time and it puts you into D mode. And this is a little more power but it's still not giving you all the juice yet. So it looks like D mode, we're getting uh, about 18, 20 miles an hour top speed. Now we're gonna put it in, press plus one more time and get you in the sport mode. And this is not, believe it or not, not the top power mode yet, but I believe you get the top speed in sport mode, but it's just gonna more gradually get you there. This is kind of typically what I ride in, I ride in sport mode, but there's one level above this, which is if you tap here, the little button that looks like a scooter icon that's the turbo mode and this is all the power now this is definitely feels pretty peppy pretty quick you can easily get up to 30 miles an hour it's not like this has a rated top speed of 30 and it's hard to get to 30 no i'm pretty sure it's limited at the uh, hardware level to 30 miles an hour when you're in turbo mode you'll actually get a little tile tire squeal off the line from the front tire Well, let's take the go tracks on a little bit of off-road here. I'm taking over some gravel. Yeah, it's doing surprisingly well with these 10 by 3 inch tires. They got a nice fat wet tread pattern on them. Although I wouldn't want to do this for any prolonged period of time. It can do it. Now, I don't know if it's just me, because I don't ride scooters all that often, but I find this thing fairly intuitive to ride. Like I get on, I'm zipping around, and it doesn't feel out of the ordinary. I've ridden the Lime scooters, the rental scooters a few times, so this is really one of my first times like riding a faster scooter and it feels surprisingly stable and intuitive. And you know you can get up to 30 miles an hour but the brakes feel pretty good. I just lean back and then you hit the brakes and yeah you can get stopped pretty fast on this thing if you need to. You're not pedaling or using your leg strength. It is kind of a workout on here because you're constantly shifting and moving your body weight around. So don't think you're not gonna get a workout riding around on an electric scooter because you do. This thing is dead silent and the only thing I'm hearing making any noise, unfortunately, is those brake rotors. Let's go up this ramp. Woo All right, guys, if you're familiar with the channel, this is what I call the planks of doom. Now this kind of demonstrates or highlights the maneuverability. I call it the planks of doom because there's raised planks above water and you're covered on both sides by blackberry bushes so if you make any mistakes here you could be taking an unpleasant trip into the water or into a blackberry bush either scenario is not favorable so we won't be going faster here so far it's making easy work of the planks of doom there you go guys so I'm really liking the dual suspension on this. It's soaking up a lot of these bumps here. Now granted, this isn't crazy off-road, but this is gravel and there's some bumps in the road and the GX1 is uh, making easy work of it. Now here, guys, I'm six foot two and here's what I look like riding the GX1. Do I look like a cool dude or what? Uh-oh. All right, guys, time for a little top speed run here. Let's see how fast we can go on the GX1. I'm in turbo mode. I'm doing 20 now, 21, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30 miles an hour. And we're just cruising at 30 now. So this thing definitely feels like it's capable of going faster than 30 but it's mechanical, it's uh, limited through the hardware at 30 miles an hour. 
And it feels pretty smooth for as fast as we're going. Get your nice uh, full body breeze, that's for sure. I want to demonstrate something here that absolutely drives me crazy about this scooter. And it's uh, affected me a few times. So we're going to cross the road here. And what this scooter does is after you stop, and if there's no activity going on after 15 seconds, it'll switch back into park mode. So what happens is you inevitably get back on the scooter, you press the throttle and it doesn't go anywhere because then you have to switch back to whatever mode you were just in. Because right now, see, it's dead. So the thing is, if you press up, you'll have to go back through the mode selectors. But the trick is just tap the down button once, the down arrow, and then that puts you in your last mode that you were in. But I wish there was a way to disable that because it just, I end up forgetting and half the time I get back on the scooter after a few seconds and it doesn't go anywhere. So if you're counting on the power being there, if you're trying to cross a busy intersection or something, you need that power available. All right guys, so there you have it. This is the GoTrax GX1 dual motor electric scooter. Some things I love about this scooter, well, first off, it's fast, but without being ridiculously fast, I feel like 30 miles an hour is a sweet spot for a scooter like this without getting yourself uh, sent to the emergency room in a hurry. It feels really stable, it has a really good build quality, and I like the dual suspension. It's gonna get you over most obstacles. Some things I'm not too fond of with this scooter, first off, the park mode automatically engaging after 15 seconds drove me crazy. So I'd find myself going to start from a dead stop and then there's no power there. So there's something you need to get used to after a while, but I wish there was a way to disable it. Second thing is the brakes did squeal when I first got this scooter. So plan on maybe having to adjust the brakes if you get one of these. Once I adjusted the brakes, it's been a lot better. But overall, I think this is a really nice scooter, especially for the price point. It's currently $12.99 US. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can use the link in the description of this video. And you can use the coupon code to save money, but unfortunately, it only works for GoTrax Canada. But guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.